This is one of the busiest parts of Bangkok, but on this night the traffic in Ceylon consisted of soldiers carrying the dead and injured away. Locals and foreigners were caught in the wrong place when several grenades were launched from somewhere above. Some couldn't wait for stretchers to arrive as soldiers and onlookers carried people to safety and into waiting ambulances further down the road. Help was arriving, but panic was also spreading as people ran for cover, with the army warning of further attacks to come. It's still a very tense situation here. The senior soldiers that we have spoken to say they believe they were the targets of this attack. At the moment, the military are forming up here, still uh, with their guns aimed towards the sky train, the sky bridges above us, and are very busy also trying to get all the tourists out of this area safely. Above the road in the train station, the attention of the soldiers was on the surrounding buildings where they suspected the grenades had been launched from. The troops were in the area to guard against the anti-government protesters known as the Red Shirts who had threatened to expand their rally into Bangkok's main financial district. Their rally site is just a few hundred meters away and there had been rumors the army was planning to crack down on them in the coming days. The military went on their loudspeakers soon after the first blasts to lay the blame on the red shirts. When the attacks occurred, there was also a rival protest underway by residents and workers in the area who were calling for the red shirts to go home. We cannot let these people threaten us with their weapons and violence while we fight with our bare hands. We will continue and we will stay strong. It didn't take long for police to find one man they believed had been involved in the attacks. He was arrested and taken away. Thailand's seemingly unending search for peace and stability goes on, and once again the streets of the capital city are stained with blood. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.